In Cisco Unified Communications Manager version 10, there's a new feature called Local Route Group Enhancement. Let me demonstrate how that works. Let's imagine that I have two sites, a Denver location and a Dallas location. Let's imagine that each site has two gateways, one for general PSTN calls and another for emergency, or emergency calls. The new feature is located under call routing, route hunt, local route group names. Now, let me go back to route groups to show you that there are no route groups created, yet by clicking the local route group name, I have the ability to add rows, and these rows do not create local route groups. Instead, they create labels, and these labels are located on the device pool. I can change the name of the default local route group to anything that makes sense to me. So what I'm going to do is create a second route group name and rename the standard. Now these are updated only on the device pool. So if I click on any of my device pools, I will see those labels listed. What that does is that gives me the ability to have one local route group for basic calls and another local route group for emergency calls. And that's going to simplify the overall dial plan. So this is the Denver device pool. And I'll see the same options in Dallas. I would see the same options in all my device pools now. So creating those labels does not change the route groups. It simply changes the device pools. If I want to use these gateways, then what I'm going to do is put them in route groups, something I've always had to do with all versions. So I'm going to create a route group for Denver PSTN calls. And I'm going to add the gateway in Denver that I'm going to use for basic PSTN calls. And I'm going to add a new device pool or route group for emergency calls. And I will associate the gateway that I want For this route group. And then I would continue to do the same for my other location for Dallas. So Dallas PSTN, users who get pointed to this route group will use this gateway. I'm going to create it one more for emergency. users who are pointed to this route group will be sent to that gateway. So I still have to put each of my gateways into device pools and now I'm going to create two route lists. One for general calls and one for emergency calls. 
So I'm going to create a route list for just the entire company. I'll name it basic PSTN calls as its description. Associate the default UCM group. And now calls that are sent to this route list, I'm not going to point them to a physical route group. Instead, I'm going to point them to the basic PSTN local route group. Now remember, this is just a label. So I'm going to create another route list for emergency. And give it a description. Point it to the default UCM group. And I'm going to associate this route list to the label named emergency. So far, so good. I have four gateways, four route groups, and two route lists. The route lists are going to be associated to the route patterns. So I'm going to create a route pattern for general PSTN calls. And this will be for seven and 10 digit local calls. And I'm going to associate this with the general PSTN route list. No authorization code is used. And agree. OK. I'm going to create another route pattern for emergency calls. I'm going to associate this with the emergency route list. I'm not going to be using an authorization code. I agree to the update. By examining the route plan report, we see the calling logic. And it says, if any user in the company dials this pattern, they're going to be sent to this list, which points to this label. If anyone dials 911, they're going to be sent to this list, which points to this label. Well, labels don't route calls. So in order to get the call routed out to the respective gateway, that's where we go back to the device pool. And this is where we say, if you're in Denver and you dial nine seven digits or nine ten digits, the basic PSTN route group for you will be this one. And this route group contains the physical gateway that we want Denver users to use for PSTN calls. And I do not want to add a new device pool. I want to continue modifying the Denver device pool and say that the emergency label is going to be associated with this physical route group, which contains the appropriate physical gateway. Now I'm going to move on to Dallas and repeat. Dallas general PSTN calls are going to use this route group, which contains a gateway. Emergency calls placed from Dallas will use this route group, which contains another physical gateway. 
and then I should apply both of these. Now let's see what happens when a call is placed. Route plan report. So if I'm in the Dallas device pool, so I'm in the Dallas location, I'm calling from a phone that's associated to the Dallas device pool, and I dial 911, I'm going to match this pattern, which sends me to this list, which gives me this label, and then I have to go back and look and see, well, if I'm in Dallas, that label points to this route group. And the Dallas emergency route group contains the Dallas emergency gateway. So companies that have multiple sites, this feature allows you to create multiple local route groups for each device pool, and that's going to allow you to simplify the dial plan by only having to create one pattern, and yet, depending on where the call is placed from, or which device pool the source has, you can have different dialing behavior. So again, I can be in one location and dial emergency, and I'm going to use one gateway. However, when I travel and I get a new device pool and I dial emergency, I will now use that site's local PSTN gateway. And as an administrator, I only need to create one emergency pattern to accomplish this. So this was a look at the new local route group enhancement feature, which is available in Unified Communications Manager version 10. I hope you found this video helpful.